Hello again, everyone. Welcome back here to Marine Max in Pompano Beach. Chris Wenstrom sitting on board a brand new 31 SLX from Sea Ray. Absolutely incredible use of space in the design in this 31 foot day boat. So we're gonna go ahead and show a comprehensive walkthrough of the 31 SLX and show you why this is a perfect boat for you and your family. So starting here in the observer seat, as you can see, it is on a swivel. So if I wanted to spin this seat around, face my company, definitely a great place to do some entertaining here under the protection of my hardtop. The 31 does have a beam of 10 foot two and weighs just over 10,000 pounds. And with this seat right on the side here, activate that toggle and that seat will spin right back around forward for a forward facing seat. And as you can see, both my helm chair and my observer seat are both double wide, so comfortable enough to have two people sitting on both seats. As I work my way into the cockpit, this interior color is called stone. So it's a two-tone gray, very modern, very sleek. And these cushions, as you can see by the density, are extremely comfortable. So a great place no matter where you decide to, to pop down. You've got a nice, comfortable place to sit. And underneath all of these seats is going to be storage. So you've got a great place to tuck away all of your gear. And just a beautiful design in the hard top and the way they kind of mold these angles really gives it a nice, aggressive profile on the water. As I mentioned with the maximizing the use of the space, I do have an additional observer seat here on the starboard side. So a great place to have all of your guests if they wanted to sit under the hardtop, gives a great place to enjoy the boat while under the protection of some shade. And speaking of shade, mounted here on the back of the hardtop is a powered sunshade that'll actually cover those rear observer seats as well. So you have the option to create even more shade and uh, keep everybody nice and cool while you're on board. Moving on to the starboard side is where we're going to see our summer kitchen. So you do have a Kenyan electric cooktop. Very easy to clean, very easy to maintain. I do have additional storage and a sink. And then underneath my grill, I do have a refrigerator with a nice designer door to keep that uh, tucked away and nice seamless look in the elevated SLX finish. All sea deck flooring throughout the entire boat, so I got nice traction under my feet and uh, keeps me a little bit cooler on those hotter days on the water. And just some of the detail in Sierra, as you can see in the diamond weave stitch and then also the leather wrap grab handle, as you can see, nice fit and finish on this luxury LS SLX line. Underneath these cup holders, as you can see, a nice molded hatch here where I have additional storage as well toss some extra dock lines in there if I wanted to. And then a uh, convenient place here just to toss some extra gear. They really, like I said, maximize usable space with a small insulated box there with a drain. And then if I do find my way up to a fixed dock, I do have a reboarding step right here just to make it a little bit easier to board onto the boat. Now with the SLX, I do have the 31, I do have a table mount here in the cockpit and that does come with a filler cushion. So right here on the gunnel, I do have a switch which activates my engine compartment. So we'll take a look at how this comes up and show you the amount of storage you have inside. And with this now open, you can see the amount of storage and access you have to some of your pumps and switches on board. Also where your cockpit table does have its dedicated storage, so it's got its own sleeve, so you're not gonna hear that rattling around while you're underway, but great use of space to uh, tuck the table down underway, and then if I wanted to deploy it, easy to uh, pop out and uh, deploy here in the cockpit. Here at the transom, as you can see, one of the best seats in the house in this big lounger we hear on the aft end. And as you can see, I do have some backrests that will ratchet into position. So I wanted to have a little bit more of a lounger. I have a couple different positions that can those can toggle into. Let those release and does expose your full size sun pad with fusion stereo remote control, beverage holders, and a nice leaning post here again, just to have nothing but comfort here when we are beached on the sandbar. Boat is powered by twin 300s with joystick. And a kind of a cool feature on the 31 is this swim step that does deploy down into the water. So if I wanted to have just a seat where I wanted to let my legs dangle in the water, that is a big sturdy seat for someone to be able to sit comfortably and a nice walkable transom completely coated in the sea deck non-skid material. Continuing on as we work our way through the boat here, a uh, nice feature here on the hardtop, I actually have a canvas section opening where if I wanted to open this up, I can actually allow some more natural light to come through the boat. If I had a nice day and just wanted some more breeze to flow through here, great option to be able to tuck that away and uh, give you a little bit even more open space when you're out on the water. Here at the helm, as I mentioned before, nice double wide bench seat with a flip down bolster. Give me nothing but comfort here at the helm. The seat is also adjustable if I wanted to slide it fore and aft. 
I got a nice stainless steel plate with non-skid tread there for my feet. Very comfortable place to sit. Access to my trim tabs, digital throttle and shift, VHF radio already installed. And as I mentioned, the joystick here, great functionality moving your way around docks. Or if I wanted to lock the boat in a certain position, we can go through some of the features on the sky hook, or I'm sorry, on the joystick under time. Uh, but the Fusion Bluetooth Stereo, as you can see, nice flush mounted up against this black acrylic. Twin Simrad 12-inch displays to give me all the necessary information I need, whether it's navigation, depth, engine diagnostics. I can lay everything out here. And again, nicely cleanly laid out on that black acrylic. A couple of beverage holders and great visibility right over the windshield. Here on the port side is where we're going to find our onboard head. So as you can see, ton of space down in there, tile backsplash. I do have a sink. And then that head is a vacuum flush head with an overboard discharge. And my sea deck material does work its way down into the head for added traction down below. And then here I do have a lockable glove box. So if I wanted to toss any belongings, if we're going to be away from the boat, you can lock that up and keep everything nice and secure. Underneath this observer seat, it is access to my carry-on cooler. So nice access door. And then with that closed, keeps it nice and tucked away. And then here in the center of the boat is going to be a very deep in-floor storage compartment. That canvas bag there is actually for the full boat cover, so it does have its own dedicated bag. And as I work my way forward, this door will close off, and my windshield will close off as well to actually be able to completely isolate the cockpit and give you a little bit better weather protection. With the SLX, you can see some of the fit and finish details and the stainless steel cap all the way around the top of the windshield, and all of my fittings are going to be stainless steel as well. Freshwater hookup, shore power hookup, pump out for uh, the head as well, all mounted here on the sides of the gunnels for quick access, and a tremendous bow seating arrangement here. Tons of room for your guests to be able to relax up here comfortably with an additional table receiver here, so I can actually fill this whole area in and create a bow sun pad as well. Flip up and down armrests, and again, just an incredibly comfortable seat. If you can see in these cushions how dense that foam is, really a very comfortable boat to relax in. So. Please come by and take a look at this 31 SLX. This is one of the last 2023 models that we do have available. Again, my name is Chris Wenstrom. Feel free to call or text me on my cell at 727-460-4175. Thank you.